Y'all, welcome to the broadcast. If you're new to the channel, my name's Todd, and today is Monday, June the 3rd. Just got through dropping by one of my neighbors. He's got some bush hogging he wants done. It's gonna be super fun. It's gonna make a great video, and we made an agreement on the price. Therefore, we'll be doing that job real soon. Oddly enough, the next job I've got to go look at is also a bush hogging job. I'll see you guys there. And there it is. Pretty flat spot. Shouldn't be much trouble. Oh yeah. I did a picture using the OnX app, which I'll pop up on the screen so you guys can kind of see how I laid it out. But I'm also gonna put my drone up in the air and I'm gonna take some straight down pictures of the area. And that way I can draw a line around the areas that I think the customer's talking about what she wants done and get really good confirmation. And that way we can give her an accurate price. There, we got our video. We'll be able to send pictures to confirm exactly what the customer wants telling you guys these things are handy this one i think was about twelve hundred dollars for the drone and the controller this is a uh, dji mini 4 pro you can get them cheaper that'll do a decent job but i really like this one he was a little taken back when i told her that it was going to be 225 an hour and if you're looking to have me do your service this is 2024 every year that price will change and go up and if she had let this property go further like grow up more that price would go up too last year she said that it was 145 dollars an hour um, but it took them a good bit longer to do the work than what i quoted her and i, and I told her i'm like i'm gonna send you a picture of the plant and you can send that to as many contractors as you want more than likely you'll find somebody cheaper but that's just what I have to charge. But she told me if I could get her on the schedule, that she'd just go with me. So I'm thankful for that. I wish they would make it. I'm gonna have to put duct tape over this thing or something because I'll set it down and then I can't see it and find it. All right, let's move on with our day. Wasn't sure what I wanted to do next. I think we'll go ahead and go to the yard, get the dump truck and trailer, and we'll go ahead and move the excavator and maybe have time to move the skid steer today back over the Brush Creek job. I think we've got some rain coming on Wednesday and that'll set us up good to be able to burn this week. Just got back over here to the pond project. I'm gonna get the Cat 309 excavator warming up. While it warms up, we'll run down here to this pond and do a quick inspection and make sure that that pipe doesn't look like it's trying to settle or separate in any way. Should be good, but let's check it out. Whew, I don't know if y'all can see it, but one of them big old huge carpets right there. Let's see if we can sneak up on him. Golly, I just saw a smaller fish jump up and out the water. Let's ease up on him. There he is. They tell me those are grass carp. They eat grass. I don't know if I eat straw. <laughs> Look at the size of that thing. He's a big oh, he saw me. <laughs> oh, there he comes. Looks like a cockeye. Looks like a daggum alligator. Jeez, dude. Oh, there's another one. Boy, they're really liking that deep water. That water line came up a lot. Came up to just where I planned for it. We can sneak around through here. Maybe we'll see a frog or two. See, now you can see where that grass was out there. That's where there is where the water line was at. Oh, oh there's some trash in here. Hoping them one fish bust the top of the water. Oh yeah, they were they were really schooled up when that water was down, but they're spread out. 
makes me happy. They feel safe, they're happy. Oh yeah, it's looking good, real good. I'll just keep rolling film. Who knows, we may see something neat. Oh yeah, that's got a good flow of water to it. You can see where it's pulled that debris. It's pulling it toward that rack. Well, if there's an alligator in here, he's probably going to get me. <laughs> we don't have them up here. You can see how that tra trash rack functions. All that stuff comes up, sticks, twigs, and things. Collects, and then you can just reach down here and clean it. That's not my job. And you see, also, that we did in fact have just a little bit of lean here. From that side to this side, there's only about a half inch, but that's enough to lean him over. If it was perfectly level, you'd see water running in all the way around it. I'm sure the reason that that leaned over is I wasn't able to drain this whole pond down at all, really. I just had to dig it out, and y'all see, y'all saw how I did it. What's caused it is I used that poly seal, which is a real rubbery seal and i wasn't able to pack the dirt as good on the far side of that rack as this side therefore what's happened is i think that water's come in and softened the soil on that end of it and i was able to really compact this side and that's just put a little bit of pressure on it it hasn't moved it so much that it damaged that seal or anything we're going to poke our head in the outflow side now and see what that looks like Maybe I can get down here. Maybe we'll see a big old rattlesnake or something. Who knows? Them little bitty fish living in this little pond. All right, let me work my way around these briars. Whatever it takes, I'm gonna get you guys a good view. Come on. I get stickered though. Trying to help it. Bunch of poison ivy. Five leaves. You're good. But them, that's poison ivy. And the way you can tell the difference is two of them look like a mitten. And the other ones are symmetrical. And the edges of the leaf are smooth. It's got a jagged edge. It's not poisonous. Oh, wait, that's a good little flow. Yeah! I hope that's not an indicator or something. Oh, yeah. Odd looking, isn't it? It's a good flow. Let's uh, stick our head in here. Who knows? Candy Bogus may come in here and get us. Yep. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. I like it. That looks real good. I wish I had a flashlight. I'm really happy with how this came together. All in all, it did really well. I don't know if you guys could tell by looking in that at the angle. It's, it's hard to tell on camera, but it looks like my inflow 90 degree elbow it was turned out a little bit. This first section of pipe coming off of that looks like it held its grade. And we could tell when we were putting the second section on that it was down just a little bit and it looks like it maintained that same little bit of an angle as opposed to that first section but again with this double wall hdpe if you're using the waterproof bell ends you've got a really good amount of wiggle room for it to hold a watertight seal and not be perfectly level with subsequent sections of pipe so you've got a little bit of grace 
right here you can see I can't tell yeah there's just a little bit of a tiny leaf right there y'all may not be able to see it let me get an eight yep it's just barely but it's almost pulsing at like a cadence not enough to make any difference I'm happy with it if that little section was underground had dirt packed around it too it wouldn't be leaking I really sensed the there are hose clamps that ride all the way around it I sensed them down actually a little bit tighter than I should have because if that pipe is completely full of water that means there's a two foot diameter surge of water giant water hose pushing water out more so than making it watertight I wanted that seal and that clamp to hold tight enough to where the pressure of that water doesn't just blow that 45 degree elbow off because then what that elbow is doing is it's turning the water to the direction of the natural flow of this creek if I hadn't put that on there when this thing floods all that water would be eroding and eating away at the far bank and we really don't want that for y'all to grade me as if I were in school doing this what kind of a number grade would you give me on this project I think I would give myself probably an 85 90 but I did the best I could with the situation I had in in hindsight I, I could have talked to the customer and gotten them to let me take all of this tree and scrub out of the way where I could have had an easier time accessing that second section of pipe and I could have gotten it perfectly level but if anything I definitely want a little bit more fall on the pipe as opposed to accidentally doing something that when we're compacted dirt it lifts that end of the pipe up and it doesn't flow and wash itself out that would have been catastrophic to this system a good bit of rain last night so that's why this thing is silted and muddied pretty bad looking but this overall look at that reflection absolutely beautiful i love it when a plan comes together Got the excavator warmed up. We're going to get it on the trailer. We'll head over to the Brush Creek job and assess how wet everything is over there and what we could possibly get done this week. We just arrived back over at the Brush Creek job and before I go inspect and see what we can do over there, this little puddle has been getting on my nerves ever since it arrived. So I'm just going to scratch out a little trench to help it drain. Did you ever have something like that just pop up on a job that just aggravates you? Let's see if we can just scratch it out. doing just a touch more finish type work on this little pond so this won't be the last thing this pond will look good when I get done with it I just want to get that puddle drained out but make it look decent while I'm at it eliminated moving on so just real quick let's go over here and check out where the next crossing is going to be and see how that's drying up so there's our pit machine this going down in here is drying up really good go down here and check all this out yeah this is a shaded area raccoon tracks it's actually drying up pretty decent but 
not quite enough yet so we won't be crossing this this week but what we can do is focus over here given the length of the road that i think we're getting ready to cut in there i need to go ahead and make some room and that means getting rid of that brush and these stumps they've been sitting for a bit uh probably go ahead and burn that wood too and we're going to have to make this pit a lot bigger and the rain's starting to move in again i'm just going to go ahead and call the video here i think it's getting long enough for you guys i'm gonna run on back over there and get the skid steer i'm either gonna bring it back here or take it to the house just depending on how the schedule is looking i may end up having to go do some bush hogging work before i need that skid steer here so thanks for watching guys we'll see you tomorrow